everybody, it's me, Crafty, and welcome back to my Witchcraft series. This video, I'm going to show you how to make a tincture utilizing uh, dried plant material and vodka. <laughs> They're really easy to make. If you're using dried plant material, um, fill the jar maybe a third of the way um, with the dried plant material and then you add vodka um, to cover the plant material enough to saturate it all and like skim over the top a bit and then what you do is you let it sit for about a month or so give it the occasional shake and um, make sure your jar is sterilized and when it comes to buying vodka um, down in the states they got different uh, labels for their um, I guess alcohol proof or whatever they call it I'm not too sure but they they call it 100 proof which is their strongest um, like alcohol so get your strongest vodka if you're from the states get it 100 proof up here in Canada we have a different system of grading alcohol it's either you know 40 percent or 50 percent so this is the Smirnoff vodka it's the 50 percent which is the strongest vodka out there on the market and um, you could use the 40% if you wanted to which comes in a red label which is the more common this is the more expensive one um, I felt like a real alcoholic today by the way <laughs> I walked into the store like I rarely drink and if I do it's not this stuff like I drink Bailey's Irish cream on the rocks that's my drink um, but <laughs> I walked in and I, you know, got a bottle of vodka and I thought, well, you know, I need some red wine for my offerings and whatnot. So I picked up a bottle of red wine. Then I thought, oh, yeah, I'll pick up some dark rum <laughs> because I use that too for certain ceremonies and whatnot. So like, I, I got these three bottles of booze and I go walking up to the counter and I, I it just felt funny. It's kind of bizarre. But yeah, back to topic on hand. So glass jar tight fitting lid make sure it's sterilized and clean okay your herb whatever it might be if you use st john's wort you know um you can crush down your herbs more if you want but uh with this when you do make the tincture with it it should turn a real gorgeous red color when you're done with it which is pretty funky because when you look at it it just you know you wouldn't think it turns red but it does and I'll post the exact um, quantities for the amounts of uh, the ingredients after. In all honesty, um, I pretty much don't follow uh, the exact quantity for this too much. Like, you know, I've been making these for quite a few years now, so I pretty much got the hang of it. So fill it like about a third full of uh, your plant material get your potent booze if you're underage you know um, you're not supposed to mess around with alcohol so uh, you'll just have to wait till your legal age wherever you are in the states I believe it's 21 my province has to be 19 other areas it's 18 I'm actually going to fill this jar about halfway. Put that down there. So then you, you know, just pretty much just seal it, label your jar, date it, um, and then you let it sit for about a month, um, anywhere between two weeks to a month and you'll know when it's ready when the alcohol turns color and every few days you know go and give it a good shake while it's uh, decanting um, make sure you store it in a cool dark place so maybe in your basement um, in your pantry somewhere where it's out of sunlight um, it does not need light or heat to uh, for this process at all so um, that that's that's it and then at the end of you know two to four weeks depending on what it is um, you strain it 
you know, use a strainer, then use a coffee filter after. And uh, put it again in... Uh, oh, I just about tipped this whole thing. Put it into uh, <laughs> some glass jars and then when you do use it, you use it by the dropper full or half dropper full. And you can add it to uh, tea, you could add it to water, um, you can use it for like herbal remedies for your health or whatnot. St. John's Wort's um, been known to help with uh, things like uh, depression and whatnot. You could also use it for magical purposes as well. So uh, you could add it to uh, different types of spells and whatnot. So um, there's quite a few different um, uses that you can do with uh, a tincture. And you can make a tincture out of, um, you know, any kind of plant material basically. If you use roots or bark or anything like that, you might want to grind them up so that um, it's easier for the alcohol to penetrate them and it would take longer. So, um, but for the most part I use like a lot of uh, the leaves and the flowers and, and whatnot. So, that's the St. John's word. You could use, you know, chamomile, um, flower heads, you can, anything, right? And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'll post more info on what some tinctures are good for and whatnot, and how you can use them. Uh, they're not meant to be, you know, to drink them straight like that or anything like that. Like, it's not um, meant to be like a cocktail or anything for you. I mean, it's, uh, you know, those eyedroppers that you can buy at the drugstore. That's what you would get, get a glass one. And then um, you would use like half a dropper full and maybe a cup of tea or something like that. So that's how you make a tincture. Very easy to do. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, shoot them off. I might have forgotten something. I just, I've been doing this for so long that um, it, it's just, it's so easy, you know. Clean jar, plant material, vodka, seal it up, let it sit can get much simpler than that then if you're gonna of course use it for any type of magical working I mean you're gonna want to consecrate it and yada 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 so yeah so that's how you make a tincture so ciao okay now with tinctures there's alcohol used obviously so first of all like um, I should said at this beginning but you know I'm slicing and dicing this video and whatnot but anyway if you have any type of um, condition that, you know, if alcohol um, poses any type of threat to you, for instance, if you have addictions, um, if you're an alcoholic, you know, that type of thing, tinctures may not be the best thing for you. Um, if you have any other kind of other like health ailment or whatnot and you're not supposed to consume any type any amount of alcohol then tinctures are not meant for you um, it's a way of preserving the the plant material it's a way of uh, making a really concentrated form um, the alcohol draws out the the essence of the plant and it becomes really concentrated with the the plant essence so um, you know it just may not be a good thing for you if you have any type of uh, problems with your health or if you have any addiction issues or anything like that if that's the case then you know stick with maybe making uh, teas and uh, that type of thing so that's my little blurb on that and um, I'll have to do a video too for some different recipes using tinctures and whatnot. Um, again, the, the amount that people use is only like about half a dropper full. Um, maybe a couple times a day or whatever, depending on whatever it is that they're using the tincture for. So, we'll see you in the video too. Ciao.